Hi guys, today we're talking about chickens again. <laughs> Tis the season, right? You know, people are raising their own chickens, raising their own meat birds. And one reason why I'm raising two different breeds, Freedom Rangers, Cornish Cross, is to compare the two. You know, what makes them different? Why are they different? And one thing I always wanted to know was which one eats the most grass? And so in today's video, we're gonna find that out. All right, we move these chickens every single day in a chicken tractor. You can kind of see the squares. I mean, we started them we started them off in that corner over there and moved them out this way. A lot of the grass has already grown back and then over here some of it's still growing. Like in this spot, it's pretty much down to the dirt. All these little tops were eaten. This spot was where I just moved them from right now. Guys, did you see what's on uh, the YouTube trending page? Uh, we are on it. Our Sutherland channel is on the YouTube trending page as one of the creators on the rise. I don't know if you can see that, but that's pretty awesome that a homesteading channel is a creator on the rise, on the trending page of YouTube. <laughs> Good morning, Bernice. Oh, Whole Foods, good morning. Need to give him some more feed. All right, this feed, <laughs> so I fed them, that's a matter of Probably like 20 minutes. <laughs> look how much feed, look how much feed they ate. That was filled 20 minutes ago. As these Cornish are getting older, man, they're eating quick. Okay, we're gonna let these guys eat. I just gave them some water and we're going to check back on these guys later today and see how much grass they're eating. Maybe this evening we'll come back. What do you have? A little butterfly trapped in the greenhouse one thing about this greenhouse is that it's like if a butterfly or a bee pretty much any insect gets caught in here they're done <laughs> unless I come in and rescue them <laughs> yeah which we we have been it seems like every time we come in here there's a butterfly that we're rescuing we have some greenhouse tomatoes they are producing but still no tomatoes yet no red tomatoes we're still growing some food, starting some seeds in here. That's going to be basically some herbs and more of our fall garden. Fall's coming up. Kind of looking forward to the colder weather. Are you? Yes. <laughs> well, cooler weather. I mean, not cold weather, but cooler no. weather. Fall weather. Yes. I love fall. Yes. I love spring and fall. Those are my favorite times of the year. All right. It's the afternoon. And what are you doing, chickens? Oh, I know you guys. I know what you guys are doing. You guys are ready to eat again. <laughs> these guys, these guys are just lounging. That's what they do. Kind of lounge around. But then they'll get a second wind in them uh, when it gets in the evening. I like the ones that look like legs. <laughs> <laughs> they look like lady legs. Yeah. <laughs> I love those carrots. <laughs> This, this pallet from that compost pile that I tore down. And I wanna save the wood. Now I think when you're homesteading, or actually anytime, even if you're not homesteading, you should save wood. <laughs> now, save it to a certain extent. Um, here, I'm not gonna save the pallets because I don't need them right now and I don't want to store it. So I'm going to save this 4x4 and this piece of 2x4 because I will most likely use that than the pallet. What's funny is I'm taking this apart, I'm remembering, okay, this wood right here is actually redwood. <laughs> okay, we brought this 
from California. You know, we're from California, so we brought this with us and it was part of a table. And rather use it for our table, I decided to use it for our compost bin. Not knowing this, on the East Coast, you can't find redwood, so it's really expensive. You know, and knowing that, I probably would have never used it for a compost bin. <laughs> this is the groundhog corner. This is the groundhog's corner. This is the groundhog's <laughs> garden right here. Yeah, this is the groundhog's garden that we made for them. <laughs> Where we like to feed our groundhogs. Yeah, we like to feed our groundhogs beans. Oh, there's a bug. Oh. So here's a garden tip. When you are in the garden, when you don't even intend on doing anything in the garden, just walk by it and pick off a bug. And ne next thing you know, you're, you're here for an hour picking off bugs. But that's the key. You walk by a plant, you look for a bug, you, you pick it by hand. Here's a bunch of eggs. Just squish it by hand. Oh my gosh, Penelope, what are you doing? Making a pie. Let me see this pie. Oh, that looks delish. <laughs> I'll call you when it's ready, because I made all of it. Okay. I made the whole thing. All right, I'll be outside. Okay. Sometimes I'm, I'm working in the garden. I happen to look up, and I'm the, the sky here is always amazing to me. And I just catch myself just staring at the sky. <laughs> All right, it's seven o'clock at night. I predict the Freedom Rangers will eat the most grass. I don't know, what do, you th what do you guys think? Freedom Rangers or Cornish Crosses? I'm gonna move these chickens again and let's see which one ate the most grass. All right, we have Cornish Crosses, Freedom Rangers. Uh, I moved them the first time today, uh, 12 hours ago. Now let's see if we can tell which ones ate the most grass. There's our Cornish Crosses, Freedom Rangers. Uh, it's pretty close. So you gotta keep in mind both poop a lot. <laughs> they both poop a lot. So it kind of mats down the grass, which it kind of looks eaten. So let's look at yesterday's spot. I don't know, I'm seeing both the Freedoms and the Cornish eating, it seems like the same amount of grass. Now the Freedoms still have food in their trough and the Cornish don't. So my guess is that the Cornish are so hungry all the time that as soon as their food is gone, they're still digging in the dirt looking for that food. So I wanna say it's the same. I'm, th I'm seeing it's the same amount. They, they eat about the same amount of grass. There's some dirt here. And then on the Cornish side, there's some dirt right here. Now, I also think that if we we're to constantly be feeding the Cornish crosses, meaning always food in their trough, I'm pretty sure that they would less likely dig in the dirt, less likely to eat the grass because they have feed. I mean, that's just my thought, but because we're raising them the exact same, the same feed, the same chicken tractor, they're almost acting like the same bird. And so just to see that, you know, just to see the two different birds and just to be a part of this process has been an amazing experiment. You know, I remember when I was in my office <laughs> before we moved to our homestead, I was in my cubicle and I used to read books, uh, Joel Salatin, uh, listen to podcasts, permaculture voices, and they would have people on there and they would be talking about how chickens eat grass. No way. I knew nothing about chickens, knew nothing about pasture birds, nothing. And so after when we moved here, I started raising birds this way. And yes, they eat grass. <laughs> and just to see that and witness it, and watch these birds grow, raising them on grass in a healthy way has been an amazing like eye-opener experience. It's, it's so amazing and beautiful. Who eats the most grass? <laughs> I think the way I'm raising these two different birds, I think they're pretty much the same. I'm almost leaning towards the Cordish crosses are actually eating more grass. Uh, and I think because I'm not feeding them 24 seven. <laughs> 
but um, so that's just kind of interesting, right? Uh, but I just wanted to share with you guys that uh, some things that I'm observing with the Freedom Rangers and the Cornish Cross birds, but uh, I think it's pie time. Let's go see if the Penelope's ready with our pie. What's in this pie? Blueberries, organic blueberries and organic strawberries. The crumble top is mostly like cashew sunflower seeds, a little bit of walnuts and oats and coconut flakes. It looks like a little pie, but we're a little family. Yeah, <laughs> it's really all you need. It's, it's a lot. Yeah, it looks so. good. And we just got, got these cucumbers, some beets, carrots from our garden, some pie, and yeah, it's a good day. 